so a quick tutorial today because lots of people are actually struggling to create like a repeated background patterns like this or there are actually lots of different patterns that you could find on different sites just search for like css pattern on google and you will find all this stuff i'll link some of the websites below but obviously you could use like this as images so rather than creating like the css one you could use images but if you are not someone who's familiar with coding and all what would happen is you would go into your let's say hero image go into style maybe you add it in a background overlay like this and then maybe you selected like a pattern so this pattern I actually downloaded from this not this site okay this site by clicking as export as image not what I would recommend to do for example right now this is how it looks you could see simply because the colors that are chosen are based on this thing and then maybe i make it have like display size something like smaller like this obviously uh there's some issue because i didn't get like the nice pattern but if you get like a nice seamless pattern from something like this or just to just create like pattern uh, image or whatever you want and just using like this stuff like this and then maybe make it like this do some blending stuff i don't know which one would work nicely but just imagine that this was actually a nice pattern rather than this uh, ugly one so basically you can actually use images and the issue with this one is that let's say you want to create like a let's say you want to create another stuff on top of it so you cannot do that right obviously you could like go into settings style body and then here you could add an image so the same stuff that we just did around here rather than giving it on the hero so let me click on hero and remove all of this and then let me remove the background and you would see that we can still add it via our style tag and then add an image but obviously do some stuff like this to make sure it works and then make sure you choose like a good image rather than this one and this is one method to do it but but it is not recommended because every time you want to do some changes you will need to like add some or you will need to go into photoshop do some changes and then add it then again go to photoshop if you don't like it if you if the size is different and stuff so rather than that we will actually be using css to do this and i've already used a css on this page so you could see this page has this effect and this whole page i'm going to like uh, create a tutorial on it i've already created a tutorial on like some of the stuff like this stuff how to make it like all this stuff but you could see i have a, a pattern around here like this so it's better to actually use the css method because that allows you to customize it on the go rather than going and changing the images and then quickly see the changes and stuff so there are lots of different stuff that you could make like this wavy effect circles there are like lots of different sites too which you could just choose which one you want like this go in here go in here i do like this one i've already used it like this but let's say if i was in my hero section and i'll just keep it like this so i know this is called dm nav container and obviously if you had elementor pro you could just add it in this one but if you don't have it what you could do is you could add an html widget like this uh, place it at the bottom or wherever you want because for css it doesn't really matter but it's usually good to keep it at the bottom so you could see all my codes are at the bottom because these are like javascript too once we did that i'll call it the uh, dot dm nav container because remember this one is called dm nav container but again if you see this one it is actually added to the whole website or oh sorry whole page and the way i've added it is if you go into my code which is this one rather than using dot dm nav container i have used body tag like this without any dot and that way it basically added this one and all my containers around here you could see have like no styling applied around here so that way all of the styling is added by this one so background which one i want so if i do red it would just change everything to red okay so i'll just keep it black then there's like the background size so if i do let's say 10 by 10 you could see how small it changed pretty quickly 
let's keep it 100 by 100 and then here's the linear gradient stuff which is basically these lines you could see so if i want this to be like very dark i can just make this to be one and i make this to one this is rgba values by the way so if i copy this one in here and then paste it rgb is basically this is red color green color blue color and then alpha uh, probably rgb you will get from the internet which color you want and then alpha is like zero is invisible one is visible so dependent on how much visibility you want you could add it add it like 0 0.05 which is like very very subtle like this and you could see it's very subtle and looks nice but let's say if you don't want to add it to the whole section like this all you simply need to do is uh, in my hero section it is called dm nav container i've already added this html widget remember dot uh, dm nav container open it and then we can add the code inside of this one so let's just try something else maybe let's try this one and then i'll make this one as white and then the background color as black okay we have to click on preview pattern like this so this looks nice to me i'll click on copy css code and then simply paste it around here and you could see it got replaced with this one so this one is the background color which is like the black so if i make this to i guess gray so you could see it is actually working if i remove this repeating layer so basically it means that the color is being added by the repeating layer like this repeating linear gradient and i simply need to do is change the values around here which is hash 5500 and stuff you could obviously do is replace it with the rgba value because it is like easier to work with instead of hash values like this change everywhere as rgba like this and then make sure you like play around with the values until you figure out so like this zero zero and then i can make this one to let's say 0 0.1 and this one also as 0 0.1 so now we already got like a repeating pattern which no matter what screen size it is it would just be perfect so if i do inspect for this one let me undock this if i let's just stretch it a lot you could see i don't know if it's visible maybe not let's do like 768 or something it's not visible because of this one but there is actually uh borders happening around here so you could see if i increase or decrease the size of my container the number of squares does not decrease it just keeps on repeating and increase the value or decrease the value based on whatever this stuff that we have added and there are like lots of different stuff around here okay which you could change the colors you could have like different own stylings and all but this is like the common one that i use this uh graph paper kind of stuff and yeah that's all like a pretty quick tutorial nothing crazy you just have to change like the values inside of this to match your design and yeah that's all thanks for watching goodbye